Bread and Pastry Production for Grade 7 and 8 Based on Learner's Packet Our topic is Baking Tools and Their Uses for Weeks 1 and 2 Most Essential Learning Competency Prepare Tools and Equipment for Specific Baking Purposes The purpose of this lesson is to apply the lesson into their real-life situation to be able to be more independent in their daily living. A. Identify different baking tools and equipment. B. Explain the use of each tools. And C. Enumerate importance and care of the baking tools and equipment. Day 1. In order for the learners to have a clear idea on the different objectives presented, they will answer this activity. Directions. Name the tools used in baking. Definition of terms, baking, the process of cooking food by indirect heat or dry heat in a confined space as heated oven using gas, electricity, charcoal, wood, or oil at a temperature from 250 Fahrenheit to 450 Fahrenheit. Batter, a flour mixture that can be stirred or poured. Convection oven, a stove in which a fan circulates heated air through the oven for fast even cooking. Discard. To get rid of as of being no further use. Dough. A flour mixture that can be rolled or kneaded. Baking can be a lot of fun, but without the right equipment, it will only cause you a lot of headaches. As a baking enthusiast, having tools is not enough, but you must be equipped with skills and knowledge on the proper use of these tools. This lesson will surely make you realize what is the right tool to be used for the right job. Baking pans The first example of this is the tube center pan. Deeper than a round pan, it has a hollow center which is removable and used for baking chiffon cakes. Number 2 is the muffin pan. It has 6 or 12 form cups for baking muffins and cupcakes. Jelly roll pan, a hollow rectangular pan used for baking cake rolls. Loaf pan, used for baking loaf bread. Cake pans. It comes in different shapes used as a container of batter for cakes. Cookie or baking sheet. It is a flat aluminum sheet used for baking cookies. Measuring tools. Measuring tools. First is the measuring cups. They are used to measure dry and liquid ingredients. It is consists of two types, namely dry measuring cups and liquid measuring cup. A dry measuring cup is nested in set of 4 to 8 cups, which is made of metal or plastic. These are used to measure ingredients such as flour, sugar, and oats, and also for semi-liquid ingredients such as jam, shortening, sour cream, and peanut butter. Next is the liquid measuring cup. It is made of clear glass or plastic, have a pouring spout, and has a clear measuring markings on sides. 
Measuring spoons. It is used to measure a small amount of ingredients. Weighing scale. Used to measure large quantities of ingredients for baking purposes. A dietetic or spring form scale where a small quantities of ingredients are weighed. Timer. It monitors the baking time and rising of the dough. Oven thermometer. Most oven thermometers vary from top to bottom and side to side. Place an oven thermometer next to food while cooking to ensure the proper temperature. Mixing tools and utensils. First is the mixing bowls. It comes in various sizes with sloping sides to ease mixing. It can be made of pottery, glass, metal, or plastic. Stainless steel mixing bowls are best used in baking. Rubber scraper. It is a pliable rubber or plastic used to scrape or remove remaining ingredients from the side of the mixing bowl. It is also known as rubber spatula. Another mixing tools is the wooden spoon. They are used as mixing spoon. Some cooks prefer to use wooden spoons because they do not transfer bodily heat as much as metal spoon. Flour sifter. It is used for sifting and adding air to flour and other dry ingredients. Electric mixer. It is intended for mixing, folding, beating, and whiffing food ingredients. Mixers come in two major variations, hand mixers and stand mixers. Pastry blender. It has a handle with a wire attached into it and it is used for cutting pots into smaller pieces when making pastry dough. Next are the cutting tools. Chef knives or French knives are all-purpose knives used for a variety of chopping, slicing, and mincing tasks. Bread knife. It has a serrated edge. This helps cut bread or cake without crushing it. Another cutting tools are the kitchen shears. They are used for cutting dried fruits and vegetables, fresh herbs, and cutting pastry. It is also used in cutting parchment paper. Grater and shredder. It is used to grate, shred, or slice vegetable, fruits, and cheese. Cookie cutters. They are used to stamp out individual cookies from rolled dough. They are made of thin sheet metal or plastic that has been molded or formed into shape. The cutting edges must be even and sharp enough to slice through the dough cleanly. Dough cutter. It is used to cut dough during scaling. Never pull the dough for it tears out the gluten strand. It is also called bench scraper. Metal spatula. This is also called a pallet knife. A large spatula is used for frosting cakes, while small spatula is used to loosen cookies from the pan and to level the flour. Rolling pin. It rolls out, flattens, or tins the dough or paste. It may be made of wood, metal, marble, or synthetic materials. Pastry wheel. It has a very sharp, round, Nickel-plated blade attached to a handle. The wheel rotates as it is pushed over rolled dough, making long, smooth, continuous cuts. Pastry brush. It is made of soft, flexible nylon or unbleached hog bristles. It is used for greasing pans, egg wash, and brushing off cake crumbs. Parchment paper. It is grease resistant, non stick, heat proof, quick release coated paper. It is used as lining, baking pans, and making piping cones for decor work. 
The paper can be reused until it becomes dark and brittle. Quark cooling rack. They have feet that raise them above the counter so that the moisture does not collect under cooling baked goods. These racks can also be used for glazing and confectionery works. Decorating tools. Pastry tip or piping tubes. They are plastic or metal tubes attached to the tip of the pastry bag or piping bag to achieve the desired design when piping out icing. They are available in plastic and metal. Cake decorator. It is a set used in decorating and designing cake and other pastry products. Pastry bag. A funnel-shaped container of icing or whipped cream. And finally, the ovens. These are the workhorses of a bakery and pastry shops. Ovens are enclosed compartment used for baking using hot and dry air. Kinds of oven used in baking. Deck ovens. The items to be baked either on sheet pans or in case of some bread, freestanding, are placed directly on the bottom or deck of the oven. This is also called stack oven because several may be stuck on top of one another. Breads are baked directly on the floor of the oven and not in pans. Deck oven for baking bread are equipped with steam ejector. Rack oven. It is a large oven into which entire racks full of sheet pans can be wheeled for baking. Number two is the mechanical oven. The food is in motion while it bakes in this type of oven. The most common types are revolving oven in which its mechanism is like that of Perry's wheel. The mechanical action eliminates the problem of hot spots or uneven baking because the mechanism rotates throughout the oven. Because of its size, it is especially used in high volume operations. It can also be equipped with steam ejector. Number 3. Convection Oven Contains fans that circulates the air and distribute the heat rapidly throughout the interior. Strong force air can distort the shape of the products made with butter and soft dough. Dutch oven is a thick walled, usually cast iron cooking pot with a tight fitting lid. Dutch ovens had been used as cooking vessel for hundreds of years. They are called casserole dishes in English speaking countries other than the USA, and cocottes in French. They are similar to both the Japanese tetsunabe and the sak, a traditional balkan cast iron oven, and are related to the South African potji and the Australian beduri oven. Classification of baking tools and equipment. Letter A, ovens. Example of these are convection ovens, rotary ovens, deck or cabinet, and microwave oven. Letter B, other baking equipment like bread toaster, double broiler, and Dutch oven. Letter C is the preparatory tools. Example of these are flour sifter, grater, pastry brush, spatula, rolling pin, pastry cloth, pastry tip, and utility tray. Another classification of baking tools and equipment are the measuring tools. Example of these are the measuring cups, measuring spoons, weighing scale, measuring cup for liquid ingredients, and the timer. Next is the mixing tools. These are the mixing bowls, wooden spoon, rubber scraper, electric and handy mixer, and rotary egg beater. The cutting tools are the pastry blender, pastry wheel, biscuit and donut cutter, kitchen shears, chopping boards, and paring knife. Baking pans are the tube center pan, muffin pan, cake pans, jelly roll pan, band pan, custard cup, griddle pans, popover pans, macaron molders, and baking sheets.
Day 2, Development. The learners will answer the questions as follows as part of identifying what they already know. Learning task number one, directions. Identify the following baking tools and equipment. Day 3, Engagement. Learning task number 2, Directions. Describe how this tool is used in bed and pastry production. Day 4, Engagement. Learning task number 3, Directions. Match picture in column A with its label on column B. Write your answer on the blank before the number. Day 5, Assimilation, Learning Task Number 4, Multiple Choice, Directions, Read the Statements, Choose the Letter of the Correct Answer. Day 6, Assimilation, Learning Task Number 5, Write True if the statement is correct and False if it's incorrect. Day 7, Assessment. Learning task number 6, Directions, identify the tools according to its group. Write the letter of the group where it belongs. Day 8, Assessment, Learning task number 7, Directions, go to your kitchen and look for different tools that we have studied in this lesson. Then identify the baking tools available in your home. Classify them and send the pictures to your teacher. Answer the reflections. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.